You know how galaxies have supermassive black holes in their centers? In most cases, we don't have to be afraid they'll come after us. They stay at the same spot for eternity, or at least until they start to evaporate and give the energy they have stolen back to the universe. But there's always that one rebel that spoils the statistics, like this invisible beast that ran away, moving farther and farther from its home galaxy. It escaped with style though, leaving a shiny trail of stars behind it, like a wake behind a ship. And it's moving really fast. If it was somewhere in our solar system, the moving black holes could cross the distance between our home planet and the moon in a mere 14 minutes. A regular spacecraft needs three days to do that. The unusual space wanderer weighs as much as 20 million suns and has left a trail of newborn stars 200,000 light years long, which is twice the diameter of our galaxy. No one has definitely seen anything like that before. There are a few ways a supermassive black hole can run away from its home. One of them is when two galaxies come together in a big collision. As they hit each other, you get a pair of supermassive black holes that start dancing in circles around each other. If there's one more black hole that decides to join the party, it can give a big push to one of the dancers and kind of catapult it far away from the center of the galaxy. Another way is when the two dancers finally catch up with each other, align their moves and become so compatible they merge at one point. This new black hole they create can get a push or a kick, and before it even knows it, it's somewhere far, far away from the safety of its home. This runaway black hole we're talking about is probably the result of many collisions of giant black holes. Their home galaxies probably merged around 50 million years ago, which brought these two together. Then, an intruder likely appeared, another galaxy with its very own giant space vacuum and things quickly became chaotic. As one of those three tried to steal the moment from the other two, it ended up thrown out of the galaxy. The original pair may have stayed there, or maybe the guest took the place of one of them. Don't think it's always that easy to go after the rebel and talk it into going back home. It's generally really hard to detect black holes. Sometimes, they give away their current position when they eat large volumes of stuff they find on their way such as gas and stars. When they're full, they become very bright, but the rest of the time, they just eat a normal amount and hide in the eternal shadows of the cosmos. They leave traces when they come closer to objects in space. We may not be able to see black holes directly, but special telescopes can catch what they do to their environment. For example, we can observe a star that makes circles around something we can't see instead of orbiting its binary companion star as we'd expect. Scientists can measure how fast that star is speeding up and calculate the mass of the object that's pulling on it. And when the mass is so big they can't match it with anything they know about, it means it's probably a black hole. Also, special X-ray telescopes can recognize radiation emitted by a star that has come too close to a black hole, which is now pulling it apart with its strong gravity. Black holes have an accretion disk, which is like a swirling thing that orbits them, like a whirlpool. When stuff from their surrounding falls into this whirlpool, it gets very hot and starts shooting out X-rays. Supermassive black holes have a mass of over a million suns, so it's not surprising they shoot out gas particularly far into space, sometimes even millions of light years away. Anyway, our rebellious black hole was hard to spot, considering how it kept moving faster and faster. But unlike others, it's never tried to hide, considering that shiny trail of stars. It doesn't gobble up stars that are ahead of it. Obviously not a fan of Pac-Man. Poor fella doesn't even have time to stop and grab a quick bite. Instead, it's just plowing into gas in front of it, which triggers the formation of new stars along its narrow path. The gas probably cools and forms a trail that's nearly half as bright as the galaxy itself. The black hole sits at the top of the column that stretches all the way back to its parent galaxy. It seems like this runaway wants to mark the way wherever it goes, in case it ever decides to get back home. And over there, at its tip, there's a glowing knot of ionized oxygen. 
It's probably there because it got shocked and heated from the black hole moving and hitting the gas. Or maybe this could be radiation coming from the accretion disk. This is not the only unusual black hole traveler that decided to take a different path in life. Astronomers have found another wanderer, a black hole, completely on its own for the very first time. Big stars can explode and turn into black holes, but in most cases, these black holes have star companions. When they come in a binary system, they interact with their partner so you can find them easier because of the light around them. That's why finding this solo traveler wasn't easy at all. It just didn't give off any light. But the Hubble Space Telescope did a pretty good job of finding how the gravity of this sneaky black hole bent light around it, similar to how a magnifying glass does. It's cool that we found something like this because it tells us there could be more of these loners that prefer traveling alone, hiding in the dark. These black holes sound scary, but the comforting thought is they're very far away. Take this lonely wanderer as an example. It's 5,150 light years away from our home planet. But in 2020, scientists thought that they had found the closest black hole to Earth, only 1,000 light years away from us. It was really big news until they realized they had actually fallen for an optical illusion. They thought there were three giant things over there. A big star making a circle around a black hole every 40 days, with one more star whose orbit went way farther. But it seems it was just a system of two stars orbiting each other closer than expected. But we've still got something cool to observe because they're so close that one of the stars is pulling the atmosphere off the other. Yup, stars have their own vampires too. This vampire star is way bigger and spins faster than the other one. This results in an illusion that they're orbiting each other farther apart than in reality. Still, if I had to choose between these vampire stars and J114 in our galaxy, I'd definitely choose them. The latter one is a terrifyingly big black hole about 3 billion times heavier than our sun. Our planet is not even a crumb in its morning bowl of cereal since it eats chunks of matter as big as the whole Earth every second. We're talking about the brightest and fastest growing black hole we've seen in the last 9 billion years. What's also fascinating is that this black hole devours matter so quickly that its boundary, which we call the event horizon, is really wide. You could easily fit all the planets of our solar system inside. The cool thing is also that its event horizon is so bright, even amateur astronomers with good telescopes can see it if they look for it in the right part of the sky. <laughs>